Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to lower your ping and fix lag in various games like Grand Theft Auto, Fortnite, or other applications you may have in games on your Windows computer. So you may notice it's very slow, bogging down, flickering, or perhaps crashing frequently, and you're getting very low frames per second or FPS. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully improve your frames per second, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search magnifying glass. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best result, check on back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to create the backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select the file tab and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer that you can recover it down the road if you need to. And then you would click on save. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you would do is select file and then import and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. So double click on that. Locate the Microsoft folder, double click on that. And now you want to go down to Windows NT. So scroll down. And double click on that. There should be a current version folder in here. Double click on that one as well. Locate something that says multimedia. And double click on it. And finally, there should be a system profile folder under here. Just left click on that one time. And now on the right side, you want to locate something that says network throttling index. Double click on it. Now in this value data field, delete whatever is in here. And you want to type eight F's in a row. So F, 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 F. So again, you want to have eight total in here. So I'll have this up on the screen. So again, eight F's in a row. So again, once you have it exactly how you see it on my screen, I'll have it in bigger letters or I might just zoom it in. So again, eight F's in a row. Base should be hexadecimal. Select OK. Once that's done, you can go back and just collapse these file folders. And now you want to go ahead and locate the HK local machine folder. You want to double click on it. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Double click on that one as well. And now double click on current control set. Double click on it. Should be a services folder. Double click on that one as well. Locate the TCPIP folder. TCPIP. And you can also click on one of these random folders and just start typing it in and it should take you right there as a shortcut. And now you want to double click on this folder as well. Double click on the parameters folder. And there should be an interfaces folder in here. Double click on that. And then finally there should be a value in here. Let me just expand this a little bit wider. And now there might be multiple folders listed under here. You want to select the one that has the most amount of information over here on the right. So you notice a few of them don't have very much over on the right except for this one. So on the right side now, now you want to go ahead and right click in a blank area. Select new and then select DWIRT 32 bit value. Now you want to type in TCP ACK exactly how you see it on my screen. Then type frequency F R E Q U E N C Y exactly how you see it on my screen here and then hit enter. First letter of each word should be capitalized. And now you want to go ahead and right click underneath of it, select new and then DWORD 32 bit value. Call this one TCP no delay. First letter of each word should be capitalized. Hit enter. So you can see both of these have a default value of zero at the moment. And you want to go ahead and change that for the both of them. So double click on the first one we created, the frequency value. Delete the zero, type in number one, select OK, and do the same thing now for the TCP delay. So go ahead and double click on that. I should say TCP no delay, and type the number one in here, and then select OK. Now you can collapse these folders as well. And you can also follow the file path up at the top of the screen here. You can see clearly each bank slash is a different subfolder we've gone under to get to this point. 
So anyway, we can go ahead and collapse these folders and go back to where it says software. So just keep it down to the first expansion that we did and then double click on the software folder. Double click on the Microsoft folder now. So now you want to right click on the Microsoft folder, select new, and then select key. And now for this new key, you want to right click on it, select rename. You want to name this key MSMQ, all capital letters, exactly how you see it on my screen. So again, MSMQ, hit enter. If you do not have that value in here, then you just create it. If it says it was already created, you can just delete this value. And it appears we already have this folder in here. If you did not have the folder in here, you'd have to create it like I just showed you guys. But like I said on the screen, we actually do have the folder in here. So that's how you would create it if you didn't have this value. So anyway, now on the right panel, now that we've selected the MSMQ folder, right click in a blank area, select new, and then select DWIRT 32-bit value. Name this value TCP no delay, exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard. And now you want to go ahead and double click on this value. Type the number one, just numerical one. Select OK, and once you're done with that, you should be able to just go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And hopefully that was able to help lower your ping and also reduce lag online for various games. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.